Hey, John Edwards, you're treating that puppy like a dog. Robin. Good morning. Good morning. You finally decided to open your eyes, huh? Yeah, when I did, you were gone. You should have wakened me. Well, I couldn't bear to. But I did watch you for a long time. Unfair. I demand equal time. Oh, Thomas. You look so peaceful. I just couldn't interrupt that kind of sleep. Will you have a nice dream? Uh, what dream? <laughs> Snow. Whoa. Mother Nature sure did a job last night, didn't she? Oh, let's just stop snowing sometime during the night. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, beautiful. Thomas, I think it's the most beautiful morning I've ever seen in my life. Exactly. You know, right after Josh and Doris Trey, I talked to Sam and I warned him that eventually he'd have to face a day of reckoning for what he did. Yeah, well, that day came sooner than he expected, I'm sure. Anyway, he wouldn't want to see me. He knows I'd gloat. Dad, do you really think that Sam blackmailed Senator Harrington into making that endorsement? With every fiber in my body. Good morning, everybody. Almost oh, everybody. I had the feeling we were going to see you this morning. A feeling? <laughs> the bookies in Las Vegas it wouldn't take that bet. All right. So unpredictable. There are worse qualities. Mm. Brenda's not up yet? Shh, 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 sweetheart. And I don't think she's going to be for a little while. Well, it's, uh, Wally, you two were up until nearly 2 o'clock in the morning talking. After what she went through yesterday, she was exhausted. So I shouldn't wake her, right? Right. Okay. Well, you know, I just wanted to say good morning before I left for the hospital. Uh, all right. I'll write her a note. And I'll see if she gets it when she first comes downstairs. You want some breakfast? Uh, no, no, no. Don't bother. It is no bother. I cooked for everybody and Thomas didn't come home last night. When he got stuck at hospital all night? Poor guy. I'm sure that's where he was. Poor Thomas. Is Scotty awake yet? No, well, wonders never sleep. And I didn't give Hal a call. It's a little bit too early yet. Oh. Well, I'll check on him before I leave. Uh, Kelly, about Hal, would you... Be better if we just let him think that I just stopped by? No, you don't have to do that. Oh, I know, but I'd be glad to do it. Uh-uh. Hal and I don't keep secrets, Thomas. <clears throat> Besides, I think he's going to take one look at my face and uh, know that something's happened. There is a certain glow about you. I was afraid of that. Mm. Does it reflect what you're feeling? Well, I feel no regrets, if that's what you're asking. Well, good. Now we know what you don't feel. I do that a lot, don't I? Okay. What I do feel is happy. Oh, Thomas, I feel so happy. Does that mean I have an invitation back real soon? Well, you've never needed an invitation before, Doc. Yeah, that's true. I'm kind of a tough guy to get rid of. Why on earth would I want to? I can't think of a single reason. Come I don't... All right, now, Ma, you're not going to forget to give this to her the minute she wakes up. The minute she wakes up. Sweetheart, the mini minute. <laughs> All right. Granddad, you want to ride to the office tennis building? Yeah, I'd like that. It seems I forgot to put my snow tires back on my car. He means still. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I'll get them done by spring. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm, uh, I'm not going to be home for lunch. I have an appointment with Tyler, but I'm sure Wally would be happy to take my place. <laughs> you reading my mind? Oh, well, that's what grandpas do best. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Bye, Dad. Oh. Well, good morning, all. Oh, you're awful chipper for a man who's been on call all night. Yeah, and we're in a hurry, so let's go. So long, Tom. <laughs> bye, Mom. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Good morning, Mom. You know, I agree with Wally. You are very chipper. 
Did you spend the night in the doctor's lounge? Well, I didn't actually go to the hospital last night. I made a house call. Oh. Oh? That's all you had to say? No. Where were you? What were you doing? No, as long as you're okay. Oh, I'm... I'm more than okay. I'm wonderful. <laughs> so is Kelly. You've been back to that. He did look a lot better. But just to be on the safe side, I told him to uh, stay in bed all day. Well, thank God he's feeling better, because I was feeling kind of scared this morning. But when I saw Dr. McCannis leaving here about 7.30 this morning. Oh. Oh? I take it the good doctor was just making a social call. Yes, he was. Um, I am so sorry, Thomas. I called you at the last minute, and I'm the one that's late. Oh, that's okay. I just... I just, uh, thought out myself the heater in my car's been acting up. Oh, I'm very glad you could meet me here. Oh, what are you drinking, Mom? Uh, tea. Would you like me to order you some? Waiter? <clears throat> yes, sir. Excuse me. Uh, can we have some tea for the lady, and we'll order in a little bit, okay? Oh, right away. Thank you. So, uh, you want to tell me about it? Trey and I had our first real big fight yesterday, and I do not know what to do. <sighs> Everything is still unresolved, and I feel sick. It's the worst thing that ever happened. It doesn't have anything to do with this uh, Harrington situation, does it? It's a tough break, Thomas. More than a tough break, Thomas. I, Harrington really damaged Trey, and on my show, I walked right into it. Well, you didn't know he was going to say what he said. I mean, Trey must understand that. I'm sure he does, but he resents it just the same. I don't understand. The whole mess with Harrington has opened up deeper, much bigger problems. Like what? Like the conflicts that our different careers are creating, for one. But Carrie's always been very proud of what you do. He's been very supportive. Proud, yes. But willing to be overshadowed? Thank you. Um, that'll be all for right now, and we'll order a little bit. Fine, Dr. McCandler. I, uh, I was wondering if I might have your autograph, Miss Denning. No, I'm not coming in at all today, Maggie. Well, maybe the reporters will get bored. Maybe you were right. Hmm? <laughs> Sloan, you've got to be kidding. Your career's really starting to take off right now. Listen, but, but I, I can't do it halfway, Thomas. Either I go for it or I give it up. Well, why can't you keep going the way you've been? You're always becoming the hottest thing in Washington. Because my husband is a politician on the way up. I cannot do my job the way I want to without stepping on some political toe. If I continue to do that, I risk hurting Trey. My marriage is more important. Well, so I'm looking, I've never been married, and I'm certainly no expert on the subject. But I know people, and I know you. And if you go ahead and do this, you're going to resent it, and you're going to end up resenting the man who made you do it. My Trey's not making me do this. Good, good. That's really good. You say that now, but what about a couple of years from now when you have a fight and you throw it back in his face? and you're starting to sound like a martyr. Nobody likes a martyr. Okay. Well, what are my alternatives? Well, work real hard at keeping your career as separate as possible. <laughs> Easier said than done, my Not friend. Not if you try and you trust each other. Trust. You know, that is the whole problem in one little word, trust. If Trey only trusted me enough to tell me everything that affects his life, I could avoid that area. But he won't. He will not let me in. Well, talk to him about it. Oh, I tried. Though. Try again. You know, I knew if I talked to you, I'd be able to make some sense out of this mess. It's just so scary, Thomas. <laughs> Sloan, our problems are only scary if we don't face them. Now I get Trey to forgive me for what I've already done. See, we can't get on with our lives, much less our careers, unless you can do that. Please don't go yet, Trey. I'm early. 
I'm glad, because I'm not getting anything done. Oh, good. Why don't you join me for a drink before we meet Julie? I hardly ever see you anymore. That's true. It's a doctor's life. I think I'd, I think I'd break more equipment than I keep. You know? uh, where are we going? Mario's, if that's all right. <laughs> Funny, I just had lunch there with Sloan today. Well, how is she? Well, she's a little taken back by this whole Harrington affair, but she's okay. I hope she didn't think I had anything to do with it. No, I don't think she does. Well, uh, listen, about Mario's, we can go someplace else if you want. No, 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 no. Mario's is a great idea. It's a perfect antidote for cafeteria hospital food. Yeah. I'm just a little surprised that, uh, you know, Julie picked it. Because it's that diamond? Well, I think that's all behind us now, thank God. Anyway... <sighs> Julie and I decided not to let it spoil our favorite restaurant. Good. How's Julie doing? Much better. She's still dying to have a baby and still worries and Mrs. Scotty, but uh, I know it hit her pretty hard when we had to give him up. She's always wondering where he is and what he's doing. Well, that's one of the things I was hoping we could talk about tonight. Have you heard from Hal Dayton? Oh, well, he's out of the hospital. He's doing as well as can be expected. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And Kelly, do you hear anything from her? When I gave Scotty to Kelly, she promised that she'd drop us a picture every now and again. And uh, she said she'd try to find a way to write to us and let us know how he was doing. Anonymously, of course. But then she said that, uh, well... She never did. I mean, never heard anything. And I knew that you two were close, at least when she was staying here during the trial, and I thought maybe you might have heard from her. <clears throat> well, actually, Tyler, I've seen her. Recently? Very recently. Tyler, um, I've been seeing a lot of Kelly since Christmas, and she asked me not to tell anybody about it. So then she's still in town? No. Uh, nearby. No one knows? Well, if you're asking me if I've told anybody about it, no, I haven't. If you've been seeing Kelly, then you must know how Scotty's doing. I tell you, Scotty's doing great. Just great. He's um, healthy, he's growing, he's getting a lot of love and attention. It'd mean a lot to Julie to hear that. I'm sure it would, but you know that you can't. Yeah. Of course, she'd figure out who the father was in two minutes. Tyler, this can't have been easy for you keeping this from Julie. Especially when her brother's involved. I just hate having to lie to her, Thomas. I, and I'd give anything if I could just tell her that, that Scotty was happy and well. But if Julie knew that Trey had a son, then she'd have to tell him. I mean, how could she not? Tyler, none of this is easy on anybody. What about you? I mean, how do you feel knowing that Trey's a father of Kelly's child? Okay, let's go. Um, all right, I'm by it. Whose house is you this? You can't just walk in here and take over. Sooner than I expected. Have you thought this out? I mean, do you really know what you're getting into with Kelly? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I guess it's supposed to mean that uh, I'm a little worried about you. Look, I spent a lot of time with Kelly preparing for a trial. I get to know a lot about her. Thomas, she's a very complicated woman and a very complicated past. Are you referring to her past as a prostitute or her uh, affair with Trey Clay? Go, brother Thomas, right to the heart. Why not? All right, I was thinking about Trey Clay. Do you realize that she was prepared to go to jail for that man? You don't know that. I bet my life on it. That was months ago. So you're telling me she's changed? Do you really think she's managed to forget him? Was Scotty around to remind her? Tyler... Back off. You asked me about Kelly, I told you. I've seen her, I'm gonna go on seeing her, and I would appreciate it if you'd keep your opinions to yourself. Is that it, Kelly? You're holding your own doesn't mean you can stop the therapy. I want to see you in my office the day after tomorrow at the usual time. Yeah, only one day's grace? Right. Of course, one day away from there is equal to a week in the country. And uh, now, my friends, how about lunch? I have a good chef salad sitting in the icebox, and it won't take but ten minutes to warm up some soup. Any takers? That sounds great. 
good. I'll take care of it. No, I insist. The least I can do is to reward Thomas for coming all this way. Well, it really wasn't any sacrifice coming out here, Al. You know, I cannot stay away from you. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about you. I've been thinking about you, too. Do you know that I started singing during surgery? <laughs> I destroyed the entire staff. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You having second thoughts? No, I'm not having second thoughts. Kelly, you know, when I went to medical school, they forgot to teach me mind reading. I am sorry. I... What is it, you worried, preoccupied? Look at Kelly. You better than anyone should know the value of talking about it. I know. What happened? Kelly, what is it? Ooh. Yes. I'm never going to keep anything from you. I'm glad to hear that. I had a visitor yesterday. Trey Clegg came to see me. Trey? How did he get here? <laughs> he found me by accident, if you can believe it. My first painting, the painting of this house, it was bought by none other than Myrna Clegg. Oh, my God. Yes, it's a little bizarre, isn't it? The real irony is that she bought it for her stepson and then his wife. It's hanging in their bedroom at this very moment. Kelly, what about Scotty? You didn't see him, did you? God, Charity had Scotty with her. But Trey still doesn't know he exists. He can't come here again. No, he can't. Hello? Kelly, it's Charity. Charity, I can't talk right now. I'm... But I've got something to tell you. I ran into Trey Clegg at Mario's. He asked a lot of questions about you. I thought you ought to know. Yeah. Listen, I'm sorry if I upset you. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Tell me what happened. What is it? Can, uh, can you find another hospital that can treat Tal, like in Chicago or someplace? Yeah, sure, there are several there. Why? Because I have to leave. Can we leave? I have to leave. Is this about Trey? Yes. Now, you listen to me. You cannot let the Cleggs run your life anymore. I'm not going to let that happen. I can't let them take my baby from me. I can't. <laughs> Eight oh seven eight. KBTX TV, Channel 3, Bryan College Station. Kelly, you cannot run away. I won't let you. Thomas, there's nothing you can do to stop me. This is something I have to do. I, there's no way I can let Trey find out about Scotty. So we're just going to leave here, all of us. Now, I know you can find me another doctor for Hal in some other town. Sure, I can do that, but that's not the real issue here, is it? Oh. So you go away. What happens then? Somewhere, someplace, you run into another Clegg. What do you do then? You run away again and again? Where does it all stop? Maybe it doesn't. Oh, great. What kind of life is that for you and Scotty? Well, I guess it's the only kind of life we can have right now, isn't it? I don't buy that. Any more than I buy that running away is going to solve your problems. Kelly, you can't escape your past. Not like this. Well, I'm going to give it a try, Thomas. You know, I don't understand this. You are a very strong lady. I've seen you go through things that would have destroyed other people. So what are you really afraid of? Isn't it obvious? If the Cleggs find out about Scotty, they will take him away from me. They're going to take my baby away from me, Thomas. No, they won't, Kelly. I won't let them.
what your strength means to me. The facts are facts, aren't they? What does that mean? What it means is that Myrna Clegg paid me a lot of money to get out of Washington, okay? And although I did keep my end of the bargain technically, I don't think she's going to see it quite that way. Well, I still don't understand why you have to run. What if Myrna Clegg does find out? So what? I told you she will try and take Scotty from me. I don't believe that. Well, she swore she would the day my trial ended. That sounds like a bluff. <sighs> Kelly, look, at the last thing the Cleggs need right now is more bad publicity. What, uh, if Trey finds out that he has a son and he wants it? Paternity is a very difficult thing to prove, Kelly. Besides, you could deny that he's Scotty's father. I know different. And so would Trey. What if he tries to fight me, Thomas? How? What kind of a chance would I have against that kind of money, that kind of power? You have all the chance in the world because you are Scotty's mother and you have me standing beside you. Oh, Thomas, I know you mean that, but I am so scared. What are you afraid of? Is it Scotty? Or are you afraid this whole situation is going to reopen your feelings for Trey? Oh, Thomas, my child is at stake here, and everything inside of me is telling me to grab him and, and howl and get as far away from Washington and the place as possible. Well, what have we here? Plans for yet another escape? Oh, hell. Kelly girl, I do not know what goes on in that busy little mind of yours. But if you've decided to run away again, then count me out. I intend to stay here no matter what. Tonight. Hell, I can't stay here. Please, no interruptions, Kelly. Believe it or not, I've grown rather attached to... Thomas and his staff at the University Hospital, and I do not intend at this late date to change over to a whole new set of tests and doctors. Oh, who are you trying to kid? The only reason that you don't want to leave here is because you don't want me to, and you know I won't go without you. Cutting All right, I admit it. I don't want you to leave. But do you know why? It's no use, Hal. You cannot change Kelly, it. I've known you for quite a long time now, and this is the happiest I've ever seen you. Matter of fact, I've hardly ever seen you happy at all here. I can be happy somewhere else. It's not true. If you leave here, you leave your painting, you leave your lovely new home, and more importantly, you leave people who care for you very, very much. I can start over. I've done it before. But not this way. Kelly, you must stop running sometime. And what better time than now, when you have people around you who love you and will stand by you. Kelly, Hal is right. You have your own life now. Don't let the Cleggs take it away from you. Don't give them that. Do you think I want to? Listen, I know you both care. And I know you mean well. But what we're talking about here is my baby's future, okay? And when it comes to that, I am the only one who can decide what's right. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I think so. Well, if you're anything like Wally, you've forgotten something. Don't worry about it. If I find it, I'll hold it for you. They'll give me an excuse to come back. Looks good to me. What do you think? What do I know? The label looks impressive. No, 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 no. Let the lady try it. It's her treat. Oh, Thomas. <laughs> Okay, it's excellent. It better be for what it's costing. <laughs> so, what's the special occasion? Did I forget something, a birthday or a, I don't know, an anniversary? No, nothing like that. Well, actually, it's a little like that. It's a special occasion. I have come to a decision, Tom about leaving. And I wanted to share it with you. Trust me. Do 
Do I want to hear this decision? Thomas, it seems all I've done for the past few days, ever since Trey came to the house, is think about this. And I would be lying if I told you I wasn't scared to death about the whole situation. But I have decided to stay. I'm glad. <laughs> Killing, I'm very proud of you. I told you before, you're one tough woman. Oh, I don't know about that. My instincts are still uh, telling me that I should be running. What made you change your mind? Because for the first time in my life, I have reasons not to run. Oh, I was afraid you wouldn't see them. They're hard to miss. And then there's my home and my friends. I even have a new career starting up. You know, I never dreamt I could have what I have today, even when I was with Trey. It's like everything happened to me. I feel for the very first time some kind of control, and it feels wonderful. And you're never going to run again. If Trey finds out about Scotty, or tries to take him away from me, you bet I'll run. Kelly, let me ask you a question. All this fear, is it really about Scotty? Or is Kelly Harper really afraid that she may have found herself some real happiness in her life, and she's afraid she'll lose it? I don't know. Maybe both. Well, don't be. Kelly, you deserve all the happiness in the world. Don't close yourself off from it. I am trying not to, Thomas. Who knows, maybe with you in my life, I just might succeed. What will you get?